Okay, so one other topic I wanted to try and get in tonight, um, I find is very good uh, and relatable to uh, some of the um, videos that I've made in the last couple days regarding um, some contentious issues that uh, came forward and I felt uh, deserved to have some light on even though you are weighing out whether or not they the uh, actual deliverers of the message that we received are needing to have light exposed to it um, but this request came and I thought this is kind of good to tie to it. So it's from Coach S. So thanks Coach S on providing it. They want to know, uh, they want my want to hear my take on having a public channel as an INTJ. They wanted to start a channel for a long time, but they are afraid of having their thoughts on the internet um, forever uh, when other people that say are potential investors or employer employers um, would be able to see them. So I think that's good because as INTJs, we do think about a lot of things regarding the pros and cons on doing stuff. I mean, this is humanity too, although we're just a little bit less impulsive. Um, so Again, I can't stress enough, the reason why I started this channel is not because, not for myself, it was that uh, I found, uh, as a woman in my 40s, I couldn't find relatable videos. They were either by INTJ men, or they were by 18 to 25 year olds. Things might have changed now, and that's great, love that. Um, but it is a unique space for a very um, niche uh, interest group. So I felt that if I couldn't find it, maybe I should help put out my experiences so that others can hear and take that experiential in information and see if it applies to themselves. And they can do with it what they feel they want. Um, so it's interesting though how this is, this request is talking about um, my take about how, being in the public eye. And I think for myself personally, I look at what like say my daughter watches on YouTube and I mean those um, crazy YouTube videos are in the millions of people and millions of f watches and you know they're making millions of dollars all that kind of stuff and because my mindset was more on ensuring that I can help individuals that I if I could help individuals that would get some value from my experiential information I didn't put a lot of thought overall on the public side because what I'm putting out in my own for my own two cents regarding my channel anyone can go and watch this. I don't have it's not a niche for me mentally. I could have a president of a company watch this because I would be tell anything basically my mandate is if I if I can say it to your face individually I can post it because there's always going to be a certain parameter about what I will and will not share uh, based on you know respect for people's privacy or you know what I decide that um, is important that needs to be covered with relation to my own family's privacy, that's always put in the mix. But um, I personally don't have a problem. What I did find, however, for anyone that is interested in doing some a channel like this as an INTJ 
and maybe as a female as well, um, that have maybe some misgivings is that there, it was scary. Like there was definitely a nervousness and you might see my cat by the way coming up. So he's right behind. There he is. Oh, he went hiding. Anyways, um, I, I was very nervous because I, even though I've taken media training for my job, I, it wasn't for anything that was a personal topic. So, um, it is scary. And the idea too, of being, uh, out there permanently, that is scary as well. Once you, you know, in media that once it's out there, it's out there. Even if you delete, take it down, there's always a chance that someone has kept it. So you have to be comfortable with that. Um, so again, that's why for myself, I had to be, um, in like sure of what the content I wanted to be. And I wanted to make sure that I was being as true to myself. So I, for example, I didn't want it where I had this inauthentic, uh, video or channel that was totally disparate from what I am like in real life. I didn't want to be, uh, you know, someone that's over the top on my channel and then all of a sudden acting in a different character in my real life. I wanted to make sure that my transparency is as real as possible. And I think that would, that does come across within your entire life. Uh, I could go in and go in ad nauseum on transparency and, uh, the ability, uh, or the strength in being authentic. But I think for a lot of us INTJs, we are, we are like that, but we do have a bit of, uh, more reservation, I guess, about how we want to present ourselves. So I'm going to start or end this with saying that another thing that played into this is the fact that I am in my forties, in my twenties, I almost guaranteed would not have done the, uh, a video channel. Um, I just couldn't have done it. I would have been too, um, in my own head and just thinking about way too many angles. But I found as I get older, you're just, you get to a point where the chips kind of fall where they may. And if you're doing something for the benefit of, uh, the larger society without sacrificing yourself, um, too much in the process. Yeah. You can get some beat downs, I guess, in comments. Um, but it allows a forum for others to discuss topics that, that are potentially important to a wide range of people that maybe, um, haven't been able to be uh, discussed about in the same type of, um, lens. So anyways, that's my video on that. Thanks so much again for the comments. Uh, write any new comments in the comment section as well as video requests, put it, them in there too. Thanks so much.